Hello, everybody. This is Jeff coming at you with the third edition of Mindset Mondays. I hope you're enjoying this series. I believe that it's important to teach what we most need to learn. And by going through some of this, it definitely solidifies a lot of these ideas in my own mind. So in that process, I hope that you are getting some benefit out of it and getting into a better mindset for yourself. So what I want to talk about today is a little bit of, a, you know, sort of esoteric, I guess, kind of idea. And it kind of is based on the subconscious mind and how the programs that we are subjected to in our childhood or throughout the experiences that we have in our lives are running specific um, loops in our psyche that are creating different limitations in what we think is possible for us in our own lives and what we can uh, accomplish in the, you know, in the present or in the future because of maybe the experiences that we've had in the past. So these are states of mind. And the idea is that we want to be able to make the unseen be more of a present reality for ourselves. And we want this thinking to be automatic. In other words, it's sort of a path of progress that we, where we go through the steps of, like I was saying in another video or a couple of the, the past weeks where I've said, you know, the things that I've been trying to accomplish first, I, I start to say them out loud and speak them. And then I start to believe them. And then after I believe them for a while, then I start to actually become them and I am them. And I think that is a real, it's a, it seems like a nuance, but it's a really powerful thing when you really start to believe, not just believe, but become what you want to, the person that you want to be in your life that is going to be capable of making the vision that you have for yourself a reality. So, you know, the limitations that we have in our lives are the things that we want to be to break through ultimately through the process, in this case, on an, an entrepreneurial journey in creating a lead gen business for ourselves. So what do these limitations speak to when I mention them? What are they for you? It's like you see this vision of what you want to bring forth in your life through your entrepreneurial journey, but then immediately you start to discount and you're like, oh, I don't have the skills or I don't have the resources. I don't have a plan, whatever it is. I don't have the connections. I don't, I don't, I don't. These are all limitations of the mind. So the important thing is that if you have a bigger vision for yourself and you see, you wouldn't be in this business unless you thought you it was possible for you to create uh, something that's going to give you a uh, greater income Give, give you greater health, happiness, give you more freedom of time and resources, all these other things. So the fact that you believe that it's possible, it will be able to, you, it's anchored into your entire system that it, 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 the possibility is there. So then it's just getting through these limitations so that you can make it a reality. So the idea that may help you in moving through this path of progress is that you don't want to just get into that state. You want to get into the state and not just think of the state, but you want to think from that state. So you want to get into that state of mind that you are that person that's running that company, that lead gen business, whatever that vision is that you have for that, for that business. And you are running it. You have the skills, you have the confidence, you have all of these things and you're imagining and envisioning yourself from this state exactly the way you want it to be. So it's taking yourself from where you are to where you want to be. And again, this is the, what I'm calling the path of progress. So faith is in one person that I listen to in, in mindset is the loyalty to the unseen vision. So if you are loyal to that vision that you have for yourself, then, and, and it's unwavering, you're going to find the, um, the different resources and, uh, experiences that you're going to need to learn and grow and make that vision a reality. It may not happen in the time frame that you thought it was going to, or that you'd like it to, but and this is the journey where they say the journey is greater than the destination. It's all about the journey, right? So what are those series? What is that series of events of events that's going to bring you closer to that unseen reality? Uh, Malcolm Gladwell wrote a book 
and called Blink, and he goes through this idea called thin slicing. So this is an idea that is used in psychology and philosophy that um, we operate on limited data to find patterns and make quick decisions from the state, this state and form conclusions about what strategy or course that we should take based on very limited data sets. So this is how we tap into our intuition. And the, you know, this is instead of trying to accumulate all the data that we possibly can think through, think through, think through all the possibilities and then trying to make a decision and move forward. That's sort of the, the real struggle mindset. And I, I used to be there, but now I've learned to trust my intuition, operate on limited data. And th this is something that really, um, connected me to Patrick also. And the reason that I think he's so good at running the companies that he runs is because in playing poker, he was, he was required to make quick decisions based on limited data when a lot of resources were at stake, potentially a pile of chips on the table, limited data in the moment. You, you never know when it's like you're on the spot, right? If there's eight people at the table and the p three people before you fold, then all of a sudden you're on the spot. You've got to make the decision based on what everybody else has done based on this limited data set. So this is operating from and surrendering to a state of intuition as a mindset on a daily basis to move yourself forward in your lead gen journey, regardless of what the outcome is. You might lose that pile of chips, but are you going to give up? Or are you just going to you're not going to dwell on it. You're going to look back, as we say, and and learn from the experience and then move forward from that experience and keep moving on your path towards the vision of what you want to see brought forth in your life. So this faith is like understanding that some way, somehow, someday you're going to get to that goal. And it's better to get there from a place of ease and flow and, and, and joy rather than struggle. So this is true for anything that you do. And um, thin slicing is, is known as, you know, it's a known factor that we can kind of utilize to understand that we're gonna get further faster if we, if we tap into this intuition and we trust it because we know that experience is one of our greatest teachers. And if we just keep moving down the path, we have more experiences, we're gonna learn, we're gonna course correct along the way, and we're gonna keep moving forward to this result that we want to see brought forth. And it's really, um, you know, the subconscious is a very powerful part of the mind. It's the, the core of creative thinking and power of mankind. And, you know, everything is, re, you know, regulated and controlled by the subconscious. And we have no control over it unless we start tapping into it. And the one way that we can do that is through imagination and visualization by going into that state and thinking from that state, you will start to overwrite those programs that are seated in your subconscious mind from the past that are creating the limitations that you have around what you think is possible for yourself. So one way to do this is through before any meeting, before any sales call, before your day, you're starting your day. And like I do this too, I visualize, I usually do it in the evenings. And I think about the next day and the experiences that I'm going to have, the things that I know that I need to accomplish, the feelings that I want to have when I have those interactions with people, whether that be prospecting sales calls or I have a meeting with certain individuals and I want to create, I want to, I want a project to move forward. You know, how do I want that to flow? How vulnerable do I want to be? How do I want everybody to feel in that meeting? I visualize them and, and myself in the process of that meeting, not, not even like thinking through the detailed aspects of it, but the general uh, sense of emotion that's being, um, that, that, that is being created through that dynamic of that interaction. And that's how I do it. And that I am able to create that state and see the world as if I'm from that state. So not attempting to control the situation, but just thinking from it and visualizing from it. So by doing that and identifying from that state, you make it so. So these are things that have been proven in various experiments that our mind doesn't 
know what we have imagined to have happened versus what has actually happened. Our mind doesn't have the ability, your subconscious mind doesn't have the ability to distinguish that. Even though our conscious mind can say, well, I know I just imagined that. Our subconscious mind just believes that it happened. So if you see yourself managing a seven-figure agency, you see yourself handling and solving an inevitable challenge that arise on that journey to that seven-figure agency, your brain is now going to begin to subtly or not so subtly seek out opportunities, people, situations, tools, data, and knowledge that will allow you to bring that vision to reality. And this will seed your subconscious mind to move forward towards that vision. And you will start to find certain ideas, hunches, inspirations, and opportunities that will begin to arise to allow you to move forward in this way. So just remember, don't think of it, think from it. And this is one way that, um, you know, my word for 2022 is flow. So I'm stepping into flow. So flow is a concept that was really, um, really kind of like a, experimented with by a researcher named Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, I think is how you pronounce his name. And he says that flow is a state in which people are so involved in an activity that nothing else seems to matter. The experience is so enjoyable that people will continue to do it even at great cost or risk for the sheer of, for the sheer sake of doing it. So if you think about like downhill skiers, like Bodie Miller, for example, like he's flying down the hill, he's completely in flow at great risk to himself. He's having fun doing it because it's, it's like this balance between the, the challenge and the skill set that he already has. So that's where flow is created, even though he could fall at any minute and any moment or any second and, you know, be injured really badly. He's still he's in that state of flow. And that's where we have our greatest ability to create the life that we want for ourselves and the feelings that we want. So Mihai also says the best moments in our lives are not the passive, receptive, relaxing moments. The best moments usually occur if a person's body or mind is stretched to its limits in an involuntary, in a voluntary effort to accomplish something difficult and worthwhile. So the Legion journey is difficult, but I believe it is worthwhile. And this is where I'm studying and uh, working to be in flow as much as I possibly can. And so if you picture, picture yourself through this visualization at the end of the steps, at the end of the journey, the steps will fall into place along the way to allow you to bring forth that vision into reality, but you have to have faith that it will, it will happen. And that is loyalty to the unseen vision. So, or the unseen reality. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoy these sort of meanderings through the mind and the mindset. I, I really love working with mindset and, you know, flow. I'm going to drop the Ted talk link into the description for this video. So you can go and see me highs, um, TED talk and kind of get a better idea of what I'm talking about with flow, but I'd love to hear your comments in the, uh, below this video so that I can see kind of where you're coming from, maybe what you've experienced and how you are moving for forward in your path of progress towards the lead gen, um, you know, reality that envision that you have for yourself and your business. Thanks a lot for listening. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.